Kit Crown here, your mortgage consultant for life. Welcome to this week's Mortgage Moments video. I'll have a new short video on a mortgage or financial fitness topic every week. So please make sure to follow my YouTube channel or visit the Mortgage Moments section on my website, kitcrown.com, for the latest video. There's an old saw that goes, if you laid all the economists in the world end to end, they still wouldn't reach a conclusion. They'll say stuff like, on the one hand, things could get better, but on the other hand, things could stay the same or get worse. And guess what? They're never wrong. Well, today I'm going to revisit my interest rate forecast for 2019, since things have changed a lot since January 2019, and lots and lots of clients have been asking me lately where I think rates are headed for the rest of this year. Fair warning, I said it then, and I'll repeat it now, I've been wrong every year for the last nine years, and I'm most assuredly on track to be wrong for 2019. The good news is, is that it's good news for all of you since rates are dramatically lower than they were back in January. Let's take a look at why that is and what I think will happen from here. Before we do that, let's revisit my forecast. Rates were around 4.5% for a 30-year conventional mortgage back in January 2019, and now, rather than trending upwards towards my projected 5.25%, they've fallen to around 3.875%. That's a huge change. How could I have been so spectacularly wrong? It comes down to three core factors. One, the trade and tariff wars, which are affecting global economic output. Two, a looming global recession and fears of a recession here in the U.S. And number three, persistently low inflation in our economy. I spoke about the fact that we live in a true global economy and that things that happen overseas, mainly Asia and Europe, have a profound impact on our stock and bond markets. The U.S. is the largest economy on planet Earth and, most importantly, it's considered to be the safest place to put money to work. And even though we're facing some headwinds in our economy, we are, as the saying goes, the cleanest shirt in the dirty laundry. That means that foreign investors are pouring money into safe and secure investments such as mortgage-backed securities, and that in turn means that the increased demand is driving bond prices higher. And since you'll all remember from video number three this year, the higher bond prices translate into lower interest rates. Here we are in July 2019 with rates hovering around 3.875%. For the average $200,000 mortgage, that translates into savings of about $73 a month or $875 a year. Not life-changing, but a nice bonus for sure. So what are the experts saying? I read this from an industry expert just this morning. Based on the Fed's laundry list of concerns, the bond market, which determines interest rates, will be watching economic data closely both at home and abroad, as well as trade-related concerns. The stronger the data and trade relations, the more rates could rise while weaker data and trade wars will lead to new long-term lows. Remember what I said at the start of my video, if you laid all the economists in the world end to end, they still wouldn't reach a conclusion? Well, as Ronald, Ronald Reagan used to say, there they go again. Here's what I think will happen. The trade and tariff wars cannot continue. They just can't. It's not good for us and it's not good for them either. So agreements will be forged that will reinvigorate all of our economies. That, in turn, will eliminate fears of a global and, and domestic recession, and from there, we'll see fewer buyers of mortgage-backed securities, and voila, rates will begin to creep back up, and drum roll, please, we'll end up um, 2019 right where we started with rates at 4.5%. Here's a final word and a reminder about what the Federal Reserve can and can't do. There are a whole lot of prognosticators who are forecasting that the Fed will lower its rate at the end of the month in an effort to ward off a recession here at home. That rate cut will impact home equity lines, credit cards, car loans, and other short-term lending rates. Here's the biggie, though. It has absolutely nothing to do 
with long-term mortgage rates. If you hear someone say that the Fed is cutting mortgage rates, put on your sneakers and run. Don't walk in the opposite direction. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And remember always that I am here every day to help solve the problems that living life on life's terms sends your way. Keep my number close by so that you can reach me anytime you need my help or anytime someone you care about needs someone who will care about them as much as I care about you. See you next week.